Yo, what up people? We're gonna get into the WRX, change a little stuff here. If you didn't check out the video before, just kind of giving an overview of the vehicle, go ahead and check that out if you're curious. The first thing we got that came with the car is this other blow-off valve. It's basically like a no-name Turbo Smart. It doesn't have any name on it, it's just labeled as a dual port. Um, like I said, I got it with the car, so we're gonna throw this on. I'm gonna put the video, some clips of what it sounds like before, I'll throw it all together at the end, the before and after, but right now I'll just show you what it takes. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, now the difference with this one actually has an external valve. So instead of this one where it only is blowing back into the intake, it actually has this one on top here. So it's actually gonna escape into atmosphere. So it's definitely gonna be a lot louder. All right, so now this blow-off valve is adjustable. So as you can see on the top here, it has an indicator of softer or harder. Now, every vehicle is different, so they have a fully adjustable system on this. The way that it works is you put it on the car and you have the cap twists itself, if you can see how the cap's actually twisting on the blow-off valve itself. And right now I'm threading it in. So right now this is creating more spring pressure because it's pushing down on this cylinder here. It's actually pushing the spring down on it. The way they say to install it is you back it all the way off on the soft spring pressure and then when you start the vehicle it's going to be open but then you continue to close it slowly until the blow-off valve is actually closed. So let's get into this and get it apart. And then the last thing is right behind here. Um, well, the gasket fell, if you saw that. Gotta make sure I retrieve that and put that back on there, we're gonna, otherwise we're gonna have problems. But yeah, and then that clamp right there to pull it off the bottom here. So this is what it looks like out of the car. Pretty small, comparatively speaking, if you look at the, the hole, it's way bigger on the new one. So it's gonna be a lot more volume we're going through it at one time. And, but like I said, the design of it's Pretty much the same, it's just taller, but yeah. So let's put the bad boy in. So the way I had to get that bottom hose back on that goes back into the intake, as I was holding the clamp with the pliers while I was stuffing this in there, um, one thing you gotta watch out for is make sure that the clamp is actually all the way around the hose. It was getting caught on the lip of the pipe, so it was actually not clamping correctly. So just to make sure, you're just gonna take, take a double look at that, just make sure that it's on there correctly. Another thing is to make sure, if you see the clamp in there, it's still latched. So with this one, it actually has to be unclipped, because as you can see, it's not actually grabbing onto the hose. So you just gotta make sure that that gets released before you finish up here. Look at all that toe gap. Yeah. A whole toe's worth. Bring it down to here. That's a, that's a boot too. So one thing I forgot to explain is there's a ring on here. So they're saying you wanna to go to the softest that you can go to. Yeah, you see that black ring in there? They say don't go past that, because then otherwise the spring will come out, it'll be all apart, and you're gonna have a bad day. So basically, you wanna just go right past that ring right there. So that'll be the softest setting and then that's where we start the car up, and then we'll start adjusting accordingly. It's actually not blowing off now. So one thing they are talking about when adjusting it is sometimes it might stall if the spring is too soft because it'll never actually close once you get out of the throttle. Uh, we're not having any issues with that, so I'm not really concerned. But it's kind of cool to see what, what it does. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's not much because I know we're not building a bunch of boost, but uh, you can already hear it blowing a little bit and uh, we're not having issues with the stolen, like I said, so we're gonna go out and drive it, see what happens. Let's go take this thing for a drive, see what she sounds like.
All right, well, there you have it. Now, I know one thing that didn't come with it, or at least that mine didn't come with it with the car, is they have, if you saw the threaded line on the open part of the blow-off valve, they have like cones and stuff you can put on there to make it change the sound. So I'll probably try that in the future here. But hey, that's what it is. It's the way you do it. And I'll talk to you guys next time.